Tired of switching between your AI tools like Claude or Cursor and HubSpot just to log notes or create tasks? Or maybe you're coding and you wish you could quickly pull HubSpot data or trigger actions directly within your code editor without digging through API docs. Want to interact with HubSpot seamlessly using natural language right where you're working? That's where HubSpot's MCP server comes in. Now in beta. It acts as a bridge, allowing your favorite AI tools to securely connect and interact directly with your HubSpot account. I'll show you some cool things you can do with it, and then show you how quick it is to set up. You can retrieve, create, or update HubSpot objects like contacts, companies, deals, custom objects, etc. List objects and their properties, access and create associations between records, create tasks and notes, jump right into the relevant part of the HubSpot UI, and even provide feedback on the MCP server itself using natural language, please do that. We would love to see your feedback. Well, let's see it in action. Here are a couple of examples. Let's ask Cursor. I'm trying to create a UI extension. Eventually, it's going to pull real contact data, but right now, I want to focus on the UI. Can you pull the data for a contact record and put it in a JSON file so I can use it as placeholder data? Boom, it just works. Now over in Claude, we can ask it to do some complicated multi-step work, such as researching a company, using that company to update a company record in HubSpot, and then perform another mildly related task of associating a contact with that company. Then all you need to do is sit back, watch as Claude gets to work, and occasionally approve some prompts. Turning a task that would have required some web browsing, copying and pasting, finding a contact, and then manually associating them to the correct company into what feels like delegating work to a coworker. You can use it to find information, create reports, and it gets even handier when you connect other MCP servers for your favorite tools. Pretty cool, right? Let's show you how easy it is to get this set up. First, you'll need Node.js and NPM installed. In HubSpot, navigate to Settings, integrations, private apps, click create, give your app a name, probably name it after what tool you're gonna use, and select the scopes you need. Like all private app access tokens, start minimal with your scopes and add more as you need them. Once created, copy the access token. Do not share it, treat it like it's a password. In your project, using cursor, create a dot cursor directory and an MCP Dot JSON file inside it. Paste this JSON block and put your private app access token right here. Save the file, restart cursor. Optionally, you can also do this in cursor's settings to have it work globally instead of on a per project basis. For quad desktop, you'll add the same JSON block, just find the configuration file usually located here, paste in the JSON, save and restart quad. Check our instructions for more detail. After restarting, the HubSpot tools should be available in your AI tool. Install the HubSpot MCP server now, linked in the description. This is a beta release, so the MCP tools available likely will change, and I expect the setup experience for individual AI tools to improve over time as those platforms improve. Be mindful when updating or deleting data if you connect to your production account during the beta phase. Consider starting with a sandbox or limiting your private app scopes to what you are comfortable with. We'd love your feedback. Tell your agent tool you have feedback on HubSpot's MCB server or visit the landing page and let us know through the form. Thank you for watching. Be sure to share what you've done with it. We're excited to see the clever things you do. Bye-bye.